four attackers Newcastle could sign after Wilson and St. Maximin blows. Eddie Howe's Newcastle earned themselves a much-needed point in their quest to retain their Premier League status with an impressive 1-1 draw with Manchester United on Monday. Alan St. Maximin's early strike looked as if was going to give Newcastle all three points until Edinson Cavani rescued a draw for the visitors. But despite all the good that came from his side's performance on Monday, Howe will be rocked by the double injury blow to two of his best players in St. Maximin and Callum Wilson. While it remains unclear quite how serious the pair's injuries are, such a problem will leave Howe desperately looking for alternatives in the upcoming transfer market. And with plenty of names already linked with moves to St. James Park, here, Daily Star Sport looks at four potential attackers Newcastle could potentially sign in January. The 29-year-old has continued to play a bit part role at Old Trafford this season, and it looks as if his time at the club will be coming to an end in the coming months. Football journalist Fabrizio Romano claimed earlier this month that the Magpies are interested in Lingard, but no contact has yet been made between the two parties. Lingard's current deal at United is set to expire at the end of June, meaning he will be free to negotiate with other clubs from next month onwards. However, United may want to recoup a fee for Lingard in the upcoming window in order to avoid risking the loss of the England midfielder for free in the summer. Will Newcastle survive relegation this season? Let us know in the comments section. After falling out of favour at the Camp Nou under Zavi, Coutinho continues to reportedly be a January transfer target for Newcastle. Spanish outlet sports say Barcelona would prefer a loan move rather than a permanent one for the pound's 145 million signing. Barcelona's recent £55 million acquisition of Ferran Torres from Manchester City could help pave the way for Coutinho's exit from the club. However, winning the race to sign Coutinho ahead of other Premier League clubs certainly wouldn't be easy, with the likes of Arsenal, Tottenham, and Everton, also rumoured to be interested in the 29-year-old. The former Manchester United and Watford forward is reportedly seriously considering a shock return to the Premier League. Ilo, 32, leave spent 12 months on loan at Old Trafford in 2020 before joining Saudi Arabian side Al Shabab from Shanghai Shenhua this year. The former Nigeria international is no stranger to finding the net in the Premier League after having scored 40 goals in 100 appearances at Watford, as well as five times in 23 outings for United during his spell at the club. With the threat of relegation looming over Newcastle, goals from ILO could be just the thing they need to help them in their quest for survival. Convincing the out-of-favor for